After four months of relentless daylight in the Arctic, tonight brings a rare and fleeting moment. The first sunset since the polar day began. Look at this sky! This is seriously the first colorful, like, sunset-ish sky that I've seen in months. Well, look at this! For just a brief moment, the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in vivid hues of orange and pink. A glimpse of color we haven't seen in so long, a sign of change on the horizon. Though the night is not yet here and the sun quickly returned, this sunset marks the beginning of a new phase. We stand on the brink of twilight, waiting for the balance of light and dark to return. Until then, we hold on to this long, beautiful moment of transition. so you can be free so he can just run around here because we don't know when this happened but you just suddenly one day became a good boy you stopped running away <laughs> and now you are a grown-up welcome to grown-up world yeah. welcome back to Svalbard where it's still full on summer. It is green and it is beautiful. But you know what also? Sunset season is back. Excuse me, how fast is this happening? I don't know, it's crazy. So the sunsets are returning, which means that for the first time since April Grimm, we're gonna have a colorful sky and we have colorful skies. We've, it's been pretty beautiful. We just need to take a little bit of a morning. Good morning, älsklingen. Good morning. Mår du bra? Okay, are you ready? Oh, it went well, right? The time is flying. Wait, I'll get my coffee, one second. There, that's better. For the first time since 19 of April, the sunsets are back. And for the last few days now, the sky has been kind of, you know, building up some more color as the sun gets lower on the horizon. And that just feels crazy to me because it's been so intense for so long. And we've had some days where it's almost been like golden hour. And my photography and videography heart is so happy because, you know, when the sun is so high, it is a very, very kind of rough lighting for, you know, four months. So now that we start to see beautiful colors and shadows again, oi, oi, oi. We've also had a bunch of belugas. There are so many little belugas coming. Look at this. <clears throat> Look at that. There's another pot there. What a welcome back to Svalbard. I just woke up and I went up to do my coffee just two seconds ago and I look outside and I'm like, belugas. Oh, it feels so good to be back home. It's absolutely gorgeous.
crazy. But so I think we're gonna go inside and have a chat uh, with the coffee. We're gonna leave this out here, of course. So they can air out. I don't think it's gonna be raining today. Guess who's back? That's right, Grim is back and he's bringing us top-notch internet security tips with a little help from NordVPN. Huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Grim knows that in the wild world of the internet, you need more than just a wagging tail to stay safe. That's where NordVPN comes in a virtual private network that adds like an invisible shield protecting your online activity from prying eyes. But wait, there's more. With NordVPN's Threat Protection Pro, Grimm can sniff out threats before they ever become a problem. Downloading a file, Threat Protection checks it for malware faster than Grimm devours a dentist stick. Clicking a link, it'll block any website that's up to no good, like a guard dog for the internet. And those annoying pop-up ads, Threat Protection Pro chases them away, keeping your browsing smooth and stress-free. Threat Protection Pro doesn't even need an active VPN connection to work. Just turn it on, sit back, and let NordVPN guard your digital world 24-7. Head to nordvpn.com slash Cecilia or use the code Cecilia to get four months for free on a two-year plan. It is all risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Good morning again. I feel like it was so nice to come back to Svalbard. We were gone for three weeks. For a holiday. Yeah. Christopher left the island, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. But I think you enjoyed Potanoste quite a lot. Yeah, it was a nice place. It was so much fun because it was also one of those places where it's as fun documenting it because there was so many interesting things that we learned about and it was so beautiful. Yeah. Christopher has also realized that he's fallen in love with Bohuslän. Yeah, Bohuslän is nice. It's really nice rocks. <laughs> 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 so the first thing we did on this trip, we haven't shown yet, we went to London because I recorded the audiobook version of my book, which was wild. So we had to, we, we, we got to know about this like two weeks before or something. And they were like, yeah, by the way, you're recording your audiobook. I'm like, what? They're like, yeah. So you have to go to London. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I really like London. I live there. Like, 15 years ago now for a year so for me it was really nice because we could go back and just see all of the places that i used to enjoy then and you did you like london yeah that was a really nice town yeah i filmed some from london and i think straight away we should roll the tape should we go back to london go back in time okay see you in london I am now on my way to Racket Studios, which is somewhere on some Percy Street, I think it's called, to do the audiobook version of my book. So I'm booked in there today to, uh, to do the recording all day today, and then also tomorrow if needed. So we're gonna see if we need that. It's only like a 20 minute walk from the hotel. So Christopher is just here, we're walking together. And then he's gonna leave me there, then he's come, gonna come back and get me. So I'm very excited to see how this goes. I've never done something like this before. So, well, let's head on over and see what this experience brings us. This is fit check. They told you beforehand what to wear and they said it can't be starchy because if it's starchy it makes noise and then it might be a little bit chilly so I just took a super soft long sleeve and my non soundiest pants <laughs> my trousers that make absolutely no noise is my thinking and also comfort because I'm gonna be sitting down just talking to a microphone for an entire day so that's my thinking. Let's go. Bye. 
Before 5.36, so bad. Do you have any questions about the whole process? No. Um, if I make a mistake, mm. do you want me to just... Go back to wherever's comfortable. Yeah, and then just keep going, right? Yeah, it could be the beginning of the sentence or the beginning of a phrase or something. Yeah. All right, Robin? Yep. My name is Cecilia, and I live on Svalbard, an island close to the North Pole. Eight years ago, I arrived in the small Arctic town of Longyearbyen amid the pitch-black darkness of the polar night. I was in my late 20s and lacked a concrete plan. Instead, I was looking for adventure. It's not unusual to find ourselves standing around the steps even during a snowstorm. Come clear weather or not, the event proceeds as planned. As, as most of the world eagerly anticipates the arrival of spring, we transition into our sunny winter season here in the far north. The daylight gradually extends with each passing day, and by April 19th, the sun shines brightly in the sky around the clock. We're back. How's London? Very nice. <laughs> yeah, so that was an incredible experience. Uh, London was super nice. I, I really liked it in London. It's a nice town and easy to to navigate. Yeah, you can walk. We biked everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, you can bike and or walk and walked. even take taxis like the taxis True. like is everywhere. And then we went to Inar and Olivia's Ele Olivia's mother and father in Hovenasset. Their and, summer house. And that was an amazing place. That is the that is actually the real reason why Christopher fell in love with <laughs> with the Boys Lab. Yeah, that was a, that was a super place. We have some footage from it. So before he continues more, should we roll that tape? Roll the tape, let's go back to Sweden, everybody. Squad. <laughs> you look just like yourself. <laughs> Just a regular Tuesday. <laughs> so nice to be back on the mainland. Det här är väl det jag brukar alltid ha på fastlandet. Vilket är landet. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. We've been so lucky with the weather. So we're just kind of laying out here in the sun today. I will take a little dip as well. So I'm gonna to try to get some sun on here. <laughs> I don't think it's super strong this sun, but I'm just gonna, you know, load up on some vitamin D. I feel like that's such a good idea. We're really enjoying the West Coast and just being outside and close to the ocean and just exactly what summer on the West Coast is all about. Ocean, sunshine cinnamon buns <laughs> lots of coffee but now we're gonna lay out in the sunshine what a what a day it's absolutely gorgeous just the fact that they have this little board is so perfect look at this <laughs> Ooh, it's so cold. Oh, it's 20 degrees, which, you know, you feel like that's not too bad, right? Since I'm so used to the Svalbard weather, but why is it so cold? Weirdly enough, it kind of feels the same as the four degree ocean that we have. I don't know what it is. Something touched my leg before and I think it was like tongue. It freaked me out. Don't like that. Oh, oh. <laughs> I may be a nature girl, but something about the ocean and random stuff touching you is just not nice. Sorry, I'm just not gonna freak out over here. I'm just gonna check what it was. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was my hair. 
Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, that's my bikini. It's such a beautiful day. How did you like that? Was it exciting? We ate a lot of good food, seafood. And me and Einar went out with a small boat from Milan that they have and uh, tried to get some crab fishing and just hanged out. Yeah. And it's a super cozy place. Like when you wake up in the morning, you go like two minutes, three minutes, and then you can buy like bread from just one girl standing there on the street. Sourdough. Yeah, sourdough bro bread for different ones and some cinnamon buns and strawberries. Yeah, everywhere. Like it was a, it was a small really nice community, like summer community there. That was super, super fun. Yeah. Uh, it was so idyllic. And every evening we would have dinner down in their Kjøbod, which is boathouse. Boathouse, yeah. So we've been out and about. I really enjoyed coming back home this time. Hmm. Like I really look, like I'm looking forward to Svalbard and what's coming up now, especially now that we have sunsets again. <laughs> because that means only one thing, polar night is coming. Polar night is coming. My favorite winter, winter is coming. Yes, winter is coming and it's going to be dark and it's going to be so cozy. <clears throat> and I just, you know, this time of year. Grim is very happy that leash season is over. So now if you ever feel like you see him and you're like, oh, poor little puppy has to, you know, run on a leash. No more. <laughs> and he is doing the most with this <laughs> every time we start over. So if you go on a walk with him now, there's nothing. There's no ears. He doesn't have any. <laughs> I took him on a walk and I'm like, Graham, he's like, he's on the other side of the mountain. You're like, okay. He's just like, not even walking. He's just running full speed around you. <laughs> so that's nice. So all of the baby animals have become teenage animals now. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. We did something that we've been waiting for uh, a long time. What did we do when we were in Sweden? We went to the one and only I-K-E-A, Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> Ikea. <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk about the curtains again <laughs> because we decided to put up new curtains and we bought them at Ikea in Sweden. And I think we're just gonna have to roll the tape because we put these up yesterday. You can see them, you can barely see them. So again, we're gonna have to go back in time and we're gonna see yesterday about these curtains because <clears throat> we did it. We did something. Yeah. Not ideal, but we, we just made a solution that's gonna work for now. I think it's gonna work out fine. Th but this, it turned out about 200 times better than we thought. Anyway, we'll roll the tape first and then we'll discuss it. Okay, so let's go back in time. Bye. <laughs> Guess what this is now that we were on the mainland we headed to ikea and we bought new curtains the thing is our windows are not standard size <laughs> so none of the curtains at ikea are the correct size and the ones that you can adjust are generally these kinds and we need not this look because this doesn't look very good so what we've done, Christopher, is that we bought kind of just like, a, not a temporary thing. We probably will have this for like a year or two. 
but something that we can have that makes all of the windows match. I'm gonna put them up now. So these are wooden, they're not called curtains, what are they called? Blinds, maybe, I don't know, it's okay. So these are wood, they're, I like I like these. The thing is, when we did the remodel and everything, two of them didn't survive. Three of them, one, two, well, we didn't have one there. No, we did. Three of them that didn't survive. So we don't have one for this and we don't have two for the other two windows. And we've just kind of like lived with this because every time we would look at ordering new ones, none of them fit these windows because they are not, like I said, standard size. So we're gonna do something that is not beautiful, but it's gonna be effective. They're, they are a little bit too long, the ones we've bought, like a little bit too wide. So we're gonna have to put them like this. <laughs> but we're just gonna see what it looks like. I hope though that the ones we bought are gonna look okay. These are the ones we bought. Hoppvals. They are dark. They are broke. So we're gonna have to put one in the front and one in the back. And of course we're gonna do, I think the first one in the front. Oh, okay. So as you can see, we have put these omelottas it's called, and it looks I would say about 450 times better than I thought that it would look. Now it just has one a super dark spot in the middle, but that also means that it makes your eye think that they're kind of like even. Okay. Okay, these are good. We're definitely gonna take everything down. We're back. What do you think about it? So I'm incredibly happy. Let me show you. The reason why we haven't bought any from Ikea is because one, we haven't been on the mainland and we didn't want to pay shipping like 500 bucks for this. So now we decided to just buy ones that don't fit and overlap them. That was the only solution we had. But look how much better. So yep, it did take us quite a long time, but we just decided to not care that they're overlapping. That is the full reason why we never bought any before. Because we're like, we can't have, you know, them not even be even, you know, but now we just said, screw it. We're gonna do that. And it actually turned out fine. And I think we're gonna have this for quite a while. Oh. It turned out so much better than I thought, so. It was, it worked out fine. It definitely did. Okay, so we can talk a little bit about the plans coming up, because it's gonna be a difference in September here on the channel and everything, because Christopher and I are on Monday heading for something very fun, which is super exciting. Yeah. And it's gonna make September a little bit different here on, on YouTube because we're gonna go somewhere where we don't have any uh, internet connection at all. And we're gonna stay there. And we don't really know for how long we might be going back and forth. We're gonna be telling you all about this after we've been there. Cause it's such an exciting thing. If you're on my Patreon, you already know. So you'll know soon as well. It's just that I like to do the full announcement here with like the video to it. But that means that in September, there's only gonna be two videos on YouTube. That is just, just for September because we need, well, we're not gonna be in town the times when I would need to edit and, you know, upload and everything. So that's just what we had to do. But then after September, it's gonna be normal again. There might even be more videos in October because I think Christopher is gonna be baking. You guys wanna see more of him bake and cook. So I thought for cozy season, how about like a Wednesday bake with Christopher or something like that? <laughs> I'm so excited about this because I also love those kind of videos. So if you're here for September, don't be alarmed when it's only two videos. It's just this month that has to be that way for our schedule to work. Yeah. You know, we have to be away to be able to do the content and that's happening like, you know, we don't have that month before that we film and edit. We generally post what's happening now. Mm. Now, you know what I mean? Like the videos are usually from the same week, uh, almost always. But so that's really exciting. And I know that this is gonna be a big one for us. It's gonna be fun. And for the future. Yeah. It's exciting. And it's a project that's here on Svalbard. So we're not leaving the island. Nope. And Grim's coming with us. 
<laughs> All the little Easter eggs. And if you know what I'm talking about, don't spoil it in the comments. You know, just let us all be in, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Keep the mystery, guys. Keep the mystery. Well, so that's exciting. Cheers, my dears. Look at our beautiful cups. Today we have this one. See, the little ocean. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. So much excitement coming up. It's just nice to kind of reset on Svalbard and say hello to the sunsets because now a new season begins and everything changes with it. We will see you guys in two weeks. There probably will be a bunch of shorts and stuff like that and I'll uh, try to post, I uh, see if I can put it on like schedule or something. Because that would be fun. Hello. Oh, let me see.